And what is up, my Magic Miscreants, Risen Dragon here with a really fun deck tech. Now, we've already done Rakdos. We did that earlier with the, you know, we, we've done it a few times. Okay, we've done it a few times already. We did it with, like, the Blood Diamonds, with the with the Oni Cult, Anvil, and Sokinzan, uh, something. <laughs> I can't recall the name off the top of my head. But this time around, we're actually doing something really cool because with uh, New Capenna, we've got some new tricks and new things to work with. And this is a really kind of quirky little sacrifice deck that when it works, it just pops. So I guess you could call it like a, a Rakdos mid-range with some sacrificial stuff thrown in. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the theme of it is sacrifice, but instead of like sacrificing treasures or artifacts, we're just sacrificing creatures in general. So let's get to it. Okay. Uh, we got, you know, let's start off with our removal. Blood Chief's Thirst, always a good one to have. Voltage Surge, always another good one to have. And we are running with some uh, treasures, mainly with Deadly Dispute and uh, with Goldspan Dragon. The Where it starts to really get interesting is these few cards here. We start with Jadar, Ghoul Caller of Nefalia. Basically, at the beginning of your end step, if you control no creatures with Decayed, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with Decayed, okay? Eh, now, now we're going somewhere with this, okay? Because basically, when you have a zombie token with Decayed, if it does not get dealt lethal damage, uh, it sacrifices itself at the end of turn. It feeds into a bunch of cards. You're going to see in a minute. Okay, Tenacious Underdog. Really, really great value card here. Three, a 3-2-2 three, two, two drop. Plus, you can play its Blitz cost uh, and pay two life and uh, bring it back from the graveyard. Okay? And we also get uh, card draw, but also, too, it feeds into some of the other cards that we have. Okay, Body Dropper being one of them. Whenever you sacrifice another creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on Body Dropper. And a, a black and a, a red, you sacrifice another creature, Body Dropper gains menace until end of turn. So not only does it get bigger, but it also, you know, gets more evasive. Okay, we are also running Meat Hook Massacre, just in case we run into big baddies, and I will say this, uh, I did run into a few games where I actually was able to get, like, I think, like, a nine-point Meat Hook Massacre. I was up against one of those, you know, Selesnya life gain builds. All right, so you're starting to see, a, hopefully, a little bit of the theme here. Okay, then we go into Fable of the Mirror Breaker. So this can generate more tokens for us. It can generate some more resources. But the sec, the third one is when it comes into play. Reflection of Kiki Jiki. You create a token that's a copy of another non of another non-legendary creature you control, except that it has haste, and we sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step, okay? Here's where it gets kind of fun, okay? Forge Boss. Whenever you sacrifice one or more other creatures, Forge Boss deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only once each turn. Well, uh, you can actually do some really fun stuff with this, because you get a Forge Boss, Jadar, Body Dropper. There's just a lot of synergy in this deck. I really do think there's a, there's a ton of synergy in this deck. And note, we're not running Obnixilis. We're not running anything with Casualty in it. So, this is a, a build that is just kind of... It, it has a lot of flexibility. It has a lot of synergy. It has a lot of flexibility in it. So... I mean, in reality, you get a bunch of Forge bosses on the field. You get... I'm just reading this. Beginning of the next end step. Uh you know, you, you can do some, some serious damage with this. So, uh, anyways. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Beginning of the next end step. Usually we do that at the beginning, but interesting. Well, I'm going to see where that goes next time. All right, but anyways, Goldspan Dragon, again, you know, no need to, no need to explain this, this, this bad boy, okay? You know, you, each treasure you control has sacrificed this artifact at two mana of any color. So, uh, we also are running some of the Manlands, uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. We're also running Den of the Bugbear. We're also running a few of these as well, the Takanuma and that. We're also running some Field of Ruin, just in case. Uh, some sideboard stuff, you know, this one's really kind of very, very much techy. Uh, Professor's Warning, it gains Indestructible. I mean, that's actually a pretty cool card. We could actually probably, you know, sub that in with, uh, you know, maybe one of the Voltage Surges or the or the Blood Chief's Thirst if we're up against some heavy spot removal. Crush the Weak just to, you know, wipe, you know, some, some board wipe here. Um, Flame Blessed Bolt, again, a braid in case we come against any uh, artifacts. Burning Hands, 
uh, just in case we come across any green, which has been quite prevalent, I, I've, I've found lately. So, uh, in any case, let's get to the video. For those of you that are new to my channel, first of all, leave a like and leave a subscribe. Uh, we do a best of one and then we do a best of three just so you can see how the deck functions in both of those environments. So without further ado, let's get to the games. We are against Burkeltor. Burkeltor. Um, yeah, we can keep this because we do have some spot removal and mass removal. And a big boy to swing in. So... Shall see what happens. Boom. Here we go. Shambly boy. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not going to have them ramp into stuff. Oh, okay. Well, it's a mono build, maybe. Alright. Well. Yeah, we're not going to... We're just going to take it. They more than likely have a, uh, more than likely they have a, a vanishing verse. Or some form of that. Or they've got a deadly dispute. Okay. Well, they ramp into it anyways. They got their money's worth out of that, though, hopefully. Uh, if you throw down something small, I can definitely take care of that. Okay, eh, body dropper is not terrible, but I'm gonna go with this instead. And we'll see what they do. Okay. Okay. Well, um. Okay. So, mask would interesting. Okay. Well then. Okay. Uh, is that one of those like? Uh, you know what? We're gonna discard these. No, you know what? I don't want to discard that. You know, what? let's just discard the blood chief's thirst. Tenacious underdog is always good. Body dropper comes down. And then what we can do is we can actually see some of the synergy that comes in with this. We can do the Tenacious Underdog. Sack it to the Deadly Dispute. Problem is that they've got so many resources they can play around with here. Well, you might be able to see how this goes. I'm trying to figure out what they're thinking about. They probably have like an infernal grasp or a uh, a vanishing verse. Or cleansing wildfire to try to to destroy the the, the land. Okay, maybe maybe not. Well, we'll see what happens. So we create a treasure. Er, can't speak today. Okay. Memorial Day here in the United States. So, hence, we're working on a little bit of a video. I just want to put last week behind me. Last week was just really rough, kids. You know, Tuesday I had a tooth pulled. Jeda Font of Hope. Okay, well. So, you're meaning to tell me that you can cast all the angels that you want. Tenacious underdog. Okay. Huh. Well, that's fun. Um, that's... I'm now I'm regretting getting rid of my, uh... uh whatchamacallit. But we do have a Meat Hook Massacre. So... We could do that. Although, one thing I would like to try. Ready? Let's try this. Let's try this. Just so we can, like, show what this deck can do. Um, I'm gonna do this. 
We are gonna sack this. So it can gain this gains menace. Menace. Deals two damage, Forge Boss does. Does that. And let's swing and see what they do. Hmm. Well, I think I go with the Font of Hope to begin with. What do you have? Yeah, I, I just feel like getting rid of the Jetta was probably the way to go there. Um, we're going to take a little bit of damage here from the underdog and whatever else they throw down. Ideally, I would like to see about the Kiki-Jiki. Because what I might be able to do is... Um, throw down a Gold Spanny. Tap the Kiki Jiki at the end step. See, I always do it before. That's that's like one of the things I gotta learn about magic. Still, Silver Quill Command, sack a creature. Yeah, okay. Well, if I must, fine. <laughs> if I must, then fine. Um, I'll sack the underdog, and now you're really gonna see what this deck can do. Okay. Well, there's that. In, oh, oh, that's the type of deck we're running. Okay, so we are going to take some damage from this, and I'm okay with that. Because uh, what we can do next is we can... Ah, crud, what do I want to do? You know what? Yeah, let's do Gold Spanny. Because what we do is this. We swing in. And now, what we do is, let's do this. Ah! See, I didn't follow my own advice there. Didn't follow my own advice. Now we're gonna take quite a bit of damage here. I think. Oh, Shambly Boy. Oh my gosh, a 4-4 Shambling Ghast. Woo-wee! <laughs> well, that's fun. That's fun. Forge boss is probably gonna die. That's our uh, yep, right of a oh, not only is he gonna die, but it's also going to uh uh whatchamacallit? It's going bye bye, bye bye. So yeah, we're might be in a little bit of trouble here. Maybe. We'll see. Is my gold spanny next? Yep, it is. Okay, well, we create this, so what we can do is we can sacrifice the gold span. Because it's going bye-bye anyways. And we do ramp into stuff, which is great. I like to see that. And what we can do... Well, we can't... Now what we can do is we can do that. Zero. So we are going to take some damage, but we're going to gain it all back with the meat hook. Okay. I'm going to gain this all back with the meat hook. As much as I don't want to get rid of my kiki-jiki, um, we do need to do this. Or else we just die. We gain some life, they lose life so on and so forth. They're going to have to now pay life in order to get... Oh, Shambly Boy. Another dispute. Okay. And 
one of their underdogs is gonna come in, or they're just gonna do that. Okay. Okay, well, uh, we do this. I'm not even gonna attack with this. I'm just gonna let this build up. Because we're just gonna keep doing these things. I, I don't even need to... Ah, well, they can exile... They can bring this in and exile the meat hook. And then they just die, I think. Scardion Savior, okay. Turn two. Oh, okay. Well, that's fun. Up to two. Okay. Cool. So, they definitely can bring back the... Oh, they brought back both of them. Okay, cool. And now they can sack one of these two and take care of my meat hook massacre. Which is exactly what they're going to do. But the question becomes, which one do they want to exile? That's the that's the, the the key term here. Is that an instant? No, it's a sorcery, so they got to use it now. Are they really going to go for that? Yeah, they got to go. They got to target the meat hook. There's no way that they don't target the meat hook with the Oblivion. There's just no way. Yeah, yeah, no, they had to do that. They had to. Um, they still... That still... comes into play. We do have this, which is fun. This. I'm not even... Again, I'm not even gonna attack with this because, well... Yeah, I'm going to. Only reason is, is if they're, they, they gotta block. They gotta block that. And they they can block with the savior. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay. You know, hey, we got another body dropper. How fun is that? And now they can create. The mask would next. They can just keep doing stuff like this. They can exile that. I don't. You do. I mean, it. Yeah. See that? I don't get. I don't get that. Is now you can't. Oh, you had enough. Oh, okay. Well, here's what we do. We do this body dropper. Can we get this down to... Yes, we can. Let me do this. So they're either going to die, or they're going to go down to one. And... Yeah. And then the body dropper just gets bigger. Yeah, and, yep, okay, we draw a card, cool, okay, we sack, okay, and now it gets bigger, nice, bump, and back in we go, okay. Jetta again, okay. Nexus, okay. And another underdog, okay, well. Cool. Um, they're dead. All right. Well, power and numbers, kids. Let's go to the best of three. We are against Brabby. Brabby for our best of three matchup. A silver, so let's see if this deck can handle the silver level decks. And no, I'm not going to do my drowning pool impression of uh, their song, Bodies, for which this deck is named after. And we're not keeping this one land hand, absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to keep this one, we can ship the... 
I guess we ship the mountain. Because what we can do is we can easily put down our den of the bug. We'll, we'll just throw down a field of ruin and see what happens. Eh. Eh, kind of regretting keeping this one. But we shall see what happens. Looks like we are against a... Is it an is it deck? Oh, we're against a, uh, a Jeskai deck. I guarantee this is a Hinata deck. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. That's okay. I'd much rather them negate something like that than uh, negate, say, like a meat hook or something like that. Although now I am curious, what do you have? I'm gonna put down a body dropper and see what happens. Okay, they're just gonna zap it, so why not? No, nope. okay, cool. Go spin dragon. Uh, yep. So this is gonna get fun. Hey, uh, this is a. Uh, I think this is that Hinata deck. So, we could be in for it here. Um, go Forge Boss, just... I guarantee they'll probably Voltage Surge that. Cause, or not. Okay. Well, that works. So, yeah, we're in a little bit of trouble here. We didn't get a good drop. Yeah, I think we just go into the second game. We just didn't get any early threats there. I definitely should not have kept that hand. Um, you know what? I'm going to take out the Blood Chief's Thirst and put in a Braid. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's see what Brabby does to adjust their deck. That looked like uh, the Jeskai uh, Hinata deck that was... I, I, know Co I know CGB did it this past week. I played around with it a little bit, and I was just... It just does not fit my... St I, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just didn't fit my style. It did not call to me. This does, though. Get into some lands, and we're in good shape. Get into a land some lands, and we're in pretty decent shape. I think we go... Do we go underdog into ghoul caller? I think we do. Yeah, we do underdog. Okay. I don't know why I tried to click on something there, but that's okay. Um, because this way we put down the ghoul caller, and then you know, deadly dispute definitely can do some some damage. I think they have like reject or something like that here. Yeah, we have Juari Disruption. Okay. Nope. Gotta respect that one. You know, you gotta respect that. Um, then they have those two, in, in, especially in this color deck. Uh, that helps. Let's try again. Of course, if they throw down another Juari, then they just... They, they gotta have something here. Come on. They, they can't just... Okay. All right. So, there we go. They have crushed the weak. That would be really bad. Expressive it. Okay, so they're fishing for stuff. Okay, I like it. We like it when they fish. Okay, so there's that. And again, we gotta respect the... Uh, gotta respect the... Um, gotta respect the Juari disruption. Let's get into the damage. Um, I have a feeling because I'm gonna hold up the deadly dispute, 
simply because I just have a feeling that that's going to come back to bite us. I think they've got a gold span in the wings. They've got to have one. No, oh, nope, they do the iteration again. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to try this. We're going to sack this. We're going to see if they counter it. They don't. Okay, cool. They create that. All right. Well, that's fun. Um, so we could conceivably do... I mean, we get down a gold spanny... If we get down a gold span, we're in pretty good shape here. Okay, and are they gonna blow? They are gonna do that. Okay, great. I like it. I like it a lot. So what we do next is now we really go hardcore. It's hardcore, not parkour. Swing in. Create that. Do this. Yeah, we sack that. That's okay. Now we do get in for the damage. And we're sitting pretty right now. They're down to one. And we have a gold span. We don't have a gold span in the wings. Dang it. Um, that did not think that through. <laughs> if they've got a removal, if they've got, you know, burn down the house, then we're in trouble. I mean, of course, we could always just throw down Forge Boss and see what they do. Part of me doesn't believe they don't have something. I mean, let's just see what they do with Forge, Forge Boss here. If they counter it, then we're in good shape. It doesn't matter. We just swing in for the win. Of course, we're going to have to swing in with multiples here. Unless they have multiple spells, that would be really, like, if they've got... I mean, conceivably, they could take away the board. They could have some fading hopes in there. They could have um, a braids, demon bolts. Who knows? Large of swirling mist. Oh my! Well, that certainly is a spell. Yeah, that is a spell, and that is fun. They, yeah, okay. Well, so we get that. Um, I think we keep the thing. So you can see that this duck can go wide pretty... I, I want to say pretty quickly, but at the same time, that was slightly on the slow side. So, you know, you get your tenacious underdog down, and yeah, we, we you can do some damage with this deck. You really can. And we'll see what Brabby does on the play here. And what we do on the draw. Uh, let's see. So, here we go. Rubber match time. We keep the video, no matter what. Because I think that both the best of one and this one definitely do show what this deck can do. We do keep this because we've got some pretty good... Um... We've got some pretty good stuff here. I think we've put down the underdog for, well, you know what, let me put down this first. Then we put down the Takanuma into the underdog. Because if they counter the underdog with Jawari Disruption, it just goes to the graveyard. So I'm not too concerned about them countering this, because it just goes, just goes to the graveyard, unless they've got Reject. Okay, and, and either way, it gets removed, it's just going to keep coming back until they decide to figure out a way to get rid of it, like that. Well, <laughs> speak of the devil. Okay, well, here's what it is, and we go from there. Hmm. Do I try the... yeah, let's try the... let's try the ghoul caller... Yeah, they'll zap that too. Okay. I think next time we just put down... I mean, do we put down a, a meat hook next? Only reason is, is that... Yeah, they, they gotta have something. So let's try this. Let's at least just put this down for nothing. And see if they counter it. 
which more than likely they're going to. So if something dies on their end and on our end, then we can uh, go from there. Yeah, they had two flame blessed bolts. They're hanging on to something. Uh, let's try this. It's probably gonna get negated. No? Okay. Either that or they just sanctify it. That deck does seem to like to run something along that line. I can't believe you don't have anything, though. That's, you know, let's get rid of a meat hook. Okay. I'm gonna do this. We are gonna swing in if they let us, yeah. So we can create a treasure token. And now we can even sack the treasure. They're gonna let that slide. Okay, they take two. I don't want to put down a gold span only because if it runs into counters, we can't really get it back. So let's do this. Let's just hold on and see what they've got. I hate playing this game, but I really... Expressive iteration. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw some cards here. We're going to sack a treasure. See if they counter it. Let's see if they counter it. I, I'm very curious. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. So we get another treasure. Okay. Great. I like it. So more than likely they've... Okay, they have another expressive iteration. So they're fishing for stuff? Okay. I mean, sure. Okay, they have that. Alright. They do play it. I thought they already played a land. Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. Tenacious Underdog. So I think what we do is this. Let's put this down. Let's put down our underdog. Let's see if they counter it. They didn't. Okay, let's put down Forge Boss. And let's see what they do here. They don't counter that either. Okay, well. Really does make you wonder what they have. I, I, I think they've got... I don't know what they have. Not really sure what... the plan is here. It can't be that flooded out. They gotta have a Doom Scar. There's no way they don't have a Doom Scar. Absolutely no way they don't have a Doom Scar. They're trying to f figure out what to target. Okay, those get tapped down, those get destroyed, okay. So they hard-casted the magnum op Magma Opus, okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. So what we can do is this, we just put down the gold spanny dragon. If they're dumb enough to block the underdog, they're gonna be sadly mistaken with the... with that, yeah, so here we go, Okay. And now we have a neat little trick here. Because watch what we can do. This Again, there's so much synergy with this. You can cast this. Forge boss, you sack it, you draw a card, you gain the bonuses from the forge boss, and you get that. What's not to love? Of course, if you, they don't, if they do win the forge boss, then it's, then it's a problem. But, oh, go spam dragon. So, there you go. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Um, sure. Now the question becomes, can they withstand this next barrage? You gotta have... They can't have... Not have Hullbreaker Horde. I, I don't get... I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. 
mean, this deck that they are playing should, in theory, work. You know what I mean? In theory, it should work. Okay, well, there's that. They're dead, I think. Because no matter what, we swing in with the underdog, or the dragon. Um, we could even... Could we do this? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. We can definitely look into this. Hmm. Okay. I got something up their sleeve. Alright, March of Swirling Mist. Okay, well. Resolve. Resolve. So those phase out. Now we do this. Pay some life. Do they counter this, though? And we just sack it at the end of our turn. Draw the card. The gold spanny. Okay. So, that's intriguing. How they just played that. Um, certainly getting the treasure. I think they've got to have a magma opus. Another gold spanny. Oh no. We could be in for it here, kids. Yeah, we're probably in for it here. Because that'll bring us down to five, and if they've got enough spot removal... Okay, well, let's try this. Goal spanning. Do they go with... Do they go with there? Do they try that? March of Swirling Mist is a thing. Which I'm pretty sure they've got. They've got to have another one. I really don't think there's any way that they don't have that this dang card right here. They're going to keep us in suspense, though. they got to have something. Okay. And, alright, let's go to the postmortem. Alright, so you can kind of see where this deck can go with, with all these fun little, little tricks up our sleeves, so to speak. And I think that with the, uh, you know, with all these cards, I'm sure you can find a way to craft around it and, and, and really make something from this. Certainly, it's a nice little, uh, nice little uh, mid-range deck. It's got some fun tricks to it. Is it competitive? I don't know. I mean, we, we held on our own against that Hinata deck that never dropped a Hinata. So, I really think that, you know, that sort of thing is, you know, that, that, that sort of deck definitely it can it can outrace so um as always people you know leave a like leave a subscribe and until next time may all your draws be godlike may all your spells hit the board risen dragon is out enjoy the rest of your day